Well, first of all, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us today. I'm going to start with one question, which is, what have you found out while working on this new paper? What are the three most important takeaway points that you'd like your readers to remember? Uh, thank you so much for having me. So the three key takeaways that I had from my research is, first, female entrepreneurs in the MENA region and in Egypt are more likely to be requested to pay informal payments and the evidence is stronger for Egypt. Second, female entrepreneurs tend to pay lower amounts of bribes or informal payments, both in Egypt and in the MENA region more generally. And third, uh, post-corruption uh, experience or corruption incidents, female entrepreneurs are more likely to perceive corruption as a bigger obstacle to their business operations. So these are like the three key takeaways. Okay, that's brilliant, thank you. So to follow up on that question, your findings that you've got, why are they important and how do they fit into the broader questions and discussions about this topic? Uh, so what I've tried to do is that uh, most of the literature has focused on the incidence of corruption and the magnitude of corruption. So I thought in a region where we have the largest gaps in terms of uh, entrepreneurial intentions for women, for men, etc. So I thought that I should be adding the gender perspective to the magnitude and instance of corruption. And second, when we study the incidence and magnitude of corruption, we should take into consideration um, being requested to uh, do corrupt behaviors. So. Uh, does government officials kind of trigger you to do this uh, 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 corruption or like to be involved in bribery or not? And then after the incidents and magnitude of corruption, do you think that this experience can kind of affect your perception about how uh, corruption is an obstacle to your uh, operations uh, as a female entrepreneur versus a male entrepreneur? Okay, great. That, that's really clear. So I'm going to end with one more question, which is, as researchers in this field, what do we still need to find out? Where should we look next in this area? So I've seen some countries have applied a gender-sensitive approach uh, when they do anti-corruption measures. So what I would like to do is to test the effects of some of the gender-sensitive approaches to corruption, especially in the GCC countries, and see whether they are effective or not uh, when it comes to the business operations of female entrepreneurs in the region. And maybe uh, apply this to Egypt and North African countries.